What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillig, Zika Miller, getting Villa for the Trilligan, and we are back on Little Goody Two Shoes. Last episode, we faced demons. In this episode, uh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Sonny was telling me about a sanity thing. Yeah, my sanity's gone down. It's not very good. Ten to the backyard. That's cool. Look at the garden. Okay, I wanted to get some food. I'm hungry. But I guess I'll just eat this. I can't eat the pretzel because that freaking miffy bitch wants the pretzel. Uh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. I've neglected it for so long. It'll be impossible to dig. <laughs> Anyhow, this is no time to loiter about. Get to work. Is that the little goody two shoes? What's this? A pair of shoes? How could they possibly have wound up here in my garden? Oh, they're wonderful. And they fit me like a glove too. These shoes. It's as though they were made for me. Hey, she done found a little goody to- Shut up, dude. I did it! All of Kieferberg needs to hear about this. Are you sure? That's not gonna raise the suspicion level, is it? Cause they some damn pussies about the freaking suspicion. What is this? From now on, it's Miss Elise to you. I'm done with this thankless struggle. I'm looking, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. All right, calm down. Uh-uh, uh-uh! No, why is she going to silly hour? That was hard. Hmm. On your feet, Elise. Nigga, ugly. Explain yourself. What is there to explain, father? Could you not hear yourself, lass? Oh. Parading in the St. Walpurgis place of worship, howling and shouting like a... Please, old Jochen. Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. You old geezer. Why you? A witch. A witch of old Holly's kin. Oh, listen here, you old wretch! That's enough! Damn. Oh, Jochen has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. <sighs> Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed and your... Oh, what does any of this have to do with sin, father? Nigga, they are... They are deadly sins! This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery yet. <sighs> Enough, Elise. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament is a sin in and of itself. Ah, oh, fuck you, nigga, fine. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if it makes you happy. <sighs> no, no, you did that shit. 
I'm not on your side this time, Elise. Yet there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard jo old Joe Chen accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yet I demand you folks understand this once and for all. I am not a mere maid of work. I am one of you. And I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. Well, well, very well, Elise. You've made yourself heard. The fuck was that? Without a shadow of doubt, lass. At last, he's made his move. Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes. My shoes? Those very shoes are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful ass. Get away from me! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. Don't you understand, Elise? Oh, the Lord's name? How do you know my name? His blessing, his will. He himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, you old hag? You must listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. What is this? My wishes, you say? Why, yes, opulence, splendor, fortune. Your deepest desire is unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Me? Speak it, Elise. Mm. What I most desire, that's fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Deep in this woodland, there is a patron saint whose blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all these in hand, and your wish shall be granted. A womb, carrier of life, your basket is to hold all that is sacred. The tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. You are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. Voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. <laughs> and fortunate fortune you shall attain. For such is his blessing and such is your desire. I will not be doing that shit. I will not be doing that shit. Elise? Elise, are you listening? Huh? Where did she go? Elise. Oh, there you are, Elise. Where did that old hag go? Elise. What's the matter with you? Leb Cohen. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Leb. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. Uh. I'm alright. I I felt a little dizzy, that's all. I can bring you some water, Elise. As for me, I'll be in a church waiting to have a word with you. Don't you start, Lab. Oh, I've already started. My, now you've done it, Elise. For goodness sake. Look at Silly Hour down there, bro. I don't want to go to Silly Hour again. It's scary.
What? Why did I do that? Oh, it's this bitch. It's this bitch. It's this bitch. Good, good day, ma'am. I, I was hoping Granny Gretel. Oh, you can't expect me to believe that. It's true, I promised on my auntie's life. Helping her with what then? Granny Gretel give me bread whenever I come visit, you see? She asked me to taste all the pies at the festival. Is that so? You best not try Granny Gretel's patience, Mandy. She's too old for that. It's Muffy. Miffy, Molly, Mubby, shut the fuck up, bitch. Not that silly of a name. Shut up, bitch. Fuck you. That was quite a show there, Lassie. Come now, Laura Lee. I need at least to lend me a hand. What is it, Mrs. Marlin? Hoping you'd pick some apples for me today. All right. Leave it to me, Mrs. Marlin. Won't you get your shoes all dirty, at least? It'll be fine, I'm certain. How many folks do these apples? Do these folks? How many apples do these folks need anyway? All right, I've always been pretty good at this type of the, at these games, at this type of game. Oh, those are bad. Those are bad apples. Literally tried to murder me. That's not cool. Come on, that's an A, that's an A, that's an A. Come on, that's an A. That's an A. Damn! That was actually kind of hard. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take the B and go. I'm gonna just take the B. Ah, uh, this will do nicely. For your trouble, at least. Thank you, Mrs. Marlin. Surely you could have done a little better. Shut up! The shoes I wager. If you say so, Mrs. Loralee. Oh, I thought I'd never find you, Elise. For goodness sake. What now, Miffy? It's your. Anyway. I don't have food for you. Shoo, shoo. Uh, but at least it's your... My what? Your friend. Huh? Uh, the last with the funny hat. She's right outside. Huh? Hurry it up. Take me to her, Molly, right now. Ma, you're covered in dirt, lass. Oh, I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her stupid hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Did you, do you know this last Elizabeth? Uh, at least says she's from Primadorf. Oh, I'm not from Primadorf. I've never had a... Why, I haven't the faintest idea, Ariane. Uh, I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise, do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Uh, Elise said she, she's adopted. When did you hear about this, Melly? Oh, if you please tell me where. Look, Mama, she's a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? <laughs> this poor girl. Hold on, let me hit it with her. Rosa Marine! Yeah! Hold on. What are you doing here, you? So you do know the last Elise? Ah, uh, yes, she's uh. Think, Elise, think. Uh, I just think cousin from Primaldorf. Why you don't have cousins, Elise? I do recall old Holly's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly. Rosemarine here is, is my aunt's granddaughter. Ah, uh, it's Rosemarine. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you, Rosenmarine. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anyhow, it, it's getting quite late. We'd best move along before. Ah, uh, but do tell me, dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Fuck, 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 shit, fuck, 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 shit, fuck, uh, fuck, fuck. Granny Holly told me about her. She, she said Rosemary Meyer might show up one day, you see? I, I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad I got to meet my cousin. Ah, uh, I see, I see. And she turned up just in time for the festival, too. Mama, mama! Can the funny lady come play with us? Of course. Oh, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't want to bother you, Rosa Marine. <laughs> you are very welcoming, but we are moving along and... One wonders, Elise. How did you meet your cousin, then? Fuck. 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 Oh. Fuck. 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 I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Ah! Found her all alone at the crossroads. She sent someone from Kieferberg. <laughs> Rose Marine asked someone from Primbledorf to ask around Kieferberg, you see? Oh, I see, I can't say I remember anything of the sort. I'm surprised that the thing didn't make itself known about town. You uh, you see, we... Oh, perhaps we're being rude, Ariane. I mustn't say, I'm curious too. <laughs> well, I'd love to sit and chat, we don't have the time. <laughs> uh, of course, we, uh, we ought to sweep the living room. You're a fucking terrible liar. <laughs> it's truly a pleasure to meet you all. Let's go, Rosemarine! Damn it, Rosemarine. Damn it, Rosemarine. Fucking whore. Rosemarine, you dirty fucking whore. I'm tired. I need some bread. Rosemarine! Have you completely lost your wits, Rosemarine? <sighs> I'm sorry, Elise. <laughs> I knew you had a burst and that's for a brain, but this is too much. Oh, uh, well, you know what you did. I'm sorry, Elise, I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see. Goodness for goodness sake, Rosemarie. Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. He took the laundry I was tending to right out of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. All right, well, truth is we made a complete mess of it. I don't even want to think about Father Han's reaction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to trouble you. Mm. Forget it, Rosemarine. It's all right. I'm telling you, it's fine, Rosemarine. Mm. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie, now, is it? Yet I do enjoy your company, so... Uh. Anyhow, we ought to keep our story straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work... That's it, Rosemary. All right. All right, listen carefully. Your grandmother is your grandmother is Granny Holly's auntie, the one that never came to visit. That makes you and my dis that makes you and my distant cousins of sorts. That makes you my distant cousin of sorts, you see? You came about to meet me, but we could have simply bumped into each other. And you asked me if I knew anyone named Holly. Sorry. I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to what I said? Why, you like Kiefer Berg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Elise. Right. That being said, Rosemary, you're going home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging around these folks too much. I did it! We're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. We must be careful, Rosemary. These folk are all noisy and ill-tempered. We don't want to make this situation any worse, understood? I'll be good, you see? You better be good. Maybe dumb bitch. So you weren't lying, Melly. I told you I knew what I saw. What did you tell these two, Melissa? Uh, maybe it's best we don't annoy her, Elise. You shush it, Rosemary. Oh, uh, once you play, once you and your cousin play Kiss the Rat with us, fine. Play with you, I suppose. You stay close to me, Rosemary. Rose, I don't want to kiss this stinky rat. I don't want this stinky rat anywhere near me. Do I get money from this? Blue pass, yellow pass.
Wait, I hit it! Fuck! Ah, right, come on, we got this. Fuck! Fuck! I suck! No fucking bitch! Stupid ass game. Fuck this game. Dumb ass game. Shit suck. Hey, shut up! <sighs> it's best you head on home now, Rosemarine. Folks have had enough for you for one day. <laughs> Oh, it was so much fun, Elise. If you say so. I'll see you at home then. Muffy, I'll fucking see you. What do you want? Muffy. It's you! <laughs> it's pretzel time, Elise! Oh, spare me, Maggie. Waited all day, at least you promised me a pretzel. I promise you no such thing. I'm telling Father Hosnitz, just you wait. Good luck with that, Mindy. I've already introduced her to everyone myself. Oh, my poor beggar cousin, Rosemarine. They fell right for it, every single one of them. She's not your cousin? Golly, Elise, even I fell for it. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. What I meant was... I'd best go let all those folks know, huh? <laughs> if only you gave me a pretzel. Fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. You keep your wretched mouth shut, Mindy. Dare tell a single soul about this and you're good as dead. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right. Are we clear, Murphy? Mm -hmm. Murphy? I can't afford that! I don't got the money for that. I got 10 coins, bro. I'm poor. I'm too broke for this shit. This, bro, fucking this maybe bitch, bro. She draining me and all of all my damn money. I'm too broke to be giving out food like this. Do I look like I got money? Fuck, she is hot. Oh, bad as fuck. Damn, my cock is hard. Oh, it's you at least, was it? I'm buying. Yeah, okay, I can get grape juice here. Ah, oh, finally. Here I was thinking I'd have to go into that filthy coop myself. What makes you think I will, Miss Wilma? Why, you're not that busy. I'll make that exception. Ungrateful bitch. Out of my way, you feathered rat! Now this is where I ball out. I'm gonna take it. I don't got the money to restart. I'm gonna take it. Getting shut the fuck up. I'm not helping. I'm gonna remember her name, Miss Wilma. That's her name. I'm not helping her out ever again. I'm never helping her out again. Miss Wilma, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that name. I'm never helping her again. Oh, Philip Sons and Secrets. Secrets, Miss Metchatilde? Why, yes, Gretel and I was always wondering what was on her mind. She was quite withdrawn at times, you see. I suppose she was, yes. Gretel was the only one she could find in. Lovkachan's granny does talk about her a great deal. You can't take old Joe Chin's foolery to heart, at least. You lasses are different from when I was your age. That's the way you ought to be. Maybe your elders weren't as narrow-minded. Oh, you wouldn't know, dearie. Don't you start, Lebkuchin. I'm not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can't stand there looking at you can stand there looking at me all you want. 
She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Lampkuchen. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin, there's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She is, um, you know. No, I don't know, Elise. That's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, why don't you tell me who she is? She says she's a traveler. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler? I'm not convinced either, lad, but I felt sorry for the poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right out of the festival, so it's only temporary. What did she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise. I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Oh, Leb! I also understand what you're telling me is a half-truth at best. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Lev, you know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you, I need you to know that. All right. Stay out of trouble now, see you tomorrow. Stay out of trouble, she says. I'm about to damn, I'm about to damn investigate this bullshit. Is this it right here? Man, this is a beautiful shot. Maybe it's not out of reach. I'm not quite sure I believe this nonsense though. Shining the distance, the monumental castle stands ephemeral out of out of reach. Frozen Marine. Ah, oh, there you are, Elise. It's quite late, isn't it? Spare me the air for Rose Marine. Let's try to sweep out here after nightfall anyhow. <laughs> Oh, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. Flock. Weren't you, Flock? Oh. What's for supper then? Yes. Oh, I made grape soup. <laughs> soup. I figured we could both use something hearty. <laughs> we have eggs. What about eggs? Of course. I cooked those too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have with them. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosemarine. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, but I... At least wait. <sighs> it's tastier than it looks, isn't it? Could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose the day went well, all things considered. I best keep an eye on her, lest these folks sorry, I... say at least I've been meaning to ask you something. Those shoes you found this morning. You what about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? I'm sorry, I... Elise, is there something you're not telling me? Uh... I don't know where to start, Rosemarine. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferberg, Sweet, I... Elise. Our fates, Elise. They're finally starting to align. Huh? <laughs> oh, never... I don't know if I trust this bitch. I don't know if I trust her anymore. See, it's the little small shit like that. I'm already scared, confused. And then you over here saying a little vague shit. I don't trust you no more. You're not my girlfriend no more. I'm going with Lab. Because you being strange. Rosemarine. I saw an old hag, Rosemarine. She told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. So it's true after all. You've heard about all this before? <laughs> carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. The tender flesh, sweetness nectar, and good company. Oh, at least that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. How do you know all this? It's an old folktale my granny used to tell me. A folktale. Carry on now, what else did she say? 
she mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods. He will grant my wish if I bring him the three gifts made from his testament. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's... Don't tell me. You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise. Out with it! Rosemary, you have to tell me what's going on! Oh. All I know is what my granny told me, but I can tell I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you like. Alright. You better tell me every fucking thing. Rosemary, you don't have to look so frightened, Elise. This is all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elise, isn't faith such a wonderful thing? Enough of that. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, oh, of course. In order to meet him, you're gonna have to gather the testaments of your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh. There are trials, but I can tell you about his folktale later. Hurry up. What's tender flesh? You're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tender flesh represents your body, the vessel for your soul, so to speak. All that matters is that you care and that it carries a part of your mortal body. Nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It could be nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the ve is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. Rosemarine. I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable. Granny used to say good company brings one's inner self, innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. I don't understand. Why it's love, Elise? Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. Rosemary. What is the sweetest nectar? Not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't like the sound of it. Represents your vitality, Elise, your essence. You don't mean. All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it, if that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, Elise, Rosemary? Proof of your resolve, first and foremost, is your determination. That's most important. Need time to think. Wrap my head around this nonsense. That's all right, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Bringing him gifts made out of testaments. I'm supposed to find these somewhere, but where? Much about myself, but... I'll be outside the granary if you want to talk more. Just another girl with a wish. Doesn't everyone have a wish or two? Not all that meet him do. I was once what you'd call the good company despite these red shoes. The object of her affections, I suppose. What are you talking about? I was forsaken in his den by the one I loved. Whoever you bring to keep him company, bear in mind this will be their fate. The good company. Wait, they're gonna be- No! She was gonna be outside the granary if she wanted to talk. Did I miss her? Oh shit! There she is! I knew you'd come about, Elise. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all, but feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who is he? You said your granny should tell you this folktale. He's a patron saint, Elise. He grants folks wishes for a heavy price. A heavy price, huh? He whose name has been lost in time is a benevolent entity. It's said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. 
Firstly, you want to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. These shoes, I suppose, that's the only explanation. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. If you do clear them to show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. All right. You will then have to use these testaments to craft him gifts and go out into the woods, gifts in hand, and on one night of the full moon to summon him. Sounds like an awful lot like a cautionary tale. Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose. I have to find out whether that's true or not. You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well, how to say, I'm a strong believer in fate, Elise. Fate, you say. I've dreamed about you, about Kieferberg, your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elise. I don't understand, Rosemary. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. They stopped the night I reached Kieferberg, which can only mean that that I'm currently living out my fate by your side. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosemarine. I know it all sounds very strange, but my granny taught me everything you know. I know, you see, about nature, about the cosmos, fate, and the woodland. The woodland. She told me all sorts of tales from the past about our community and its origins, our patron is Walperga. Rosemarine, that's rather... Isn't it, isn't it such a coincidence that both our patronesses have the same name? It has to be fate. I'm not too sure about that. Some things I had yet to make sense of it sense to me recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long, long time. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. Why folk called us foul names or why my granny preferred to sleep under the stars most nights. Yet it fell into place, Elise, as she told me it would. Fate will guide you if you let it. All you have to do is trust your instincts. Today was rather tiring. Whisper to the stars, something like that. Don't talk too long. This crazy bitch. It's back to the crying girl. I best go to bed. I'm missing some of all this tomorrow. It's time for silly hour. Fucking hell. Or not. For goodness sake. I can't sleep. I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense. Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him, what Rosemarine told me too, I find it hard to believe, but maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and live the life I'm meant to live. Start anew, someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness. I gotta at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out right now. Elise, Elise, Elise. Can I talk? Can I? Elise. I do not think this is a good idea. Maybe it's this way? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, hell no. Yo, can we like, go home now? Yo, we don't found our way to the woods. We can go home now, right? Oh, no, no, no. Let's see, what that old hag has said is true. I have to at least try. I personally believe we should stay away and not do anything. Oh no, it's silly stuff. <laughs> So this is the woodland. I ought to find him. I ought to be brave.
How is your sanity not going down just being here? What is this wretched place? I best be careful. This could be dangerous. <laughs> oh! I apologize. Now, how do I draw the moths here? All I've got is me and my lantern. That's no way to talk about your own father. Still, this isn't the first time he's taken so long in the bathroom. He yurking this shit. He yurking this shit. <laughs> no, there we go. It's got their attention, I suppose. Mm. Better be careful moving forward. What in the... Have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you, would you believe? The witch, you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but... I have my doubts she'll last as long as... Last long in the black wilderness. Wait. What in the Lord's name? Moss eaten and frayed, an old dress rests in his blood soaked grave. You're seeing all of this and you still want to move forward. Oh my goodness. I can't see you as anything but stupid right now, at least. Thank God. Take heed, she's taking advantage of you. Who is? That creature, she goes hungry. It's you she wants, your flesh. The witch? Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere exactly? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna do what I can to keep my sanity high. But I'm going to click on every single one of these that I can. I don't care if I got to stock up on like grape juice and stuff like that. I'm going to click on every single one that I can find, if possible. Because I need to know what's going on. Uh, no, save. No, save. There's so many, I must find a way to distract them. Start by saving. Simply lighting it may not be enough. Oh, I gotta do what I did last time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
No! Man, see, they wrong for that. Oh my goodness. What is this? Looks like a doe's remains. I've never seen such a thing before. The pristine skeletal remains of a doe. Every bone barren of any kind of life. Find these scribbles scattered about. Are these people? Engraved deep in the rocky surface are several familiar ships reminiscent of human life. Those are drawn to flesh, it seems. I had to lure them out the way, but they'll keep following me if I don't turn off my lantern. They're devouring that thing. Maybe they'll clear the path for me if I lure them all here, but they'll keep following me if I don't turn off my lantern. My goodness. Y'all are pissing me off. All right, let's go. Oh. Guys, that might be me. That might be my skull in the basket. What the fuck? You've come to me at last. Don't be frightened, Elise. Come closer. What is this? What in the Lord's name? You've done well to find your way into these woods. It's imperative to believe that you listen closely. He's once more trying to take you away from me. But not for long. Take this basket now. You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elise. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him, deeper into this grove of mine. Only then may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. What, is this? what are you? I will guide you to him, Elise. You ought to trust my word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. How am I to find him? You, Elise, are my kin. My triumph, my beloved progeny. What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. I guess that's the witch. I 
will allow him and his pets into my woodland once more. I will allow him to tempt you, to toy with you. What are you? All for the greater good, my beloved. So that we can be reunited. So that I can bear life in my womb once more. I'm losing my wits! I need to get out of here. So I can retrieve what's mine. Yeesh! Come on, wave, wave. Come on, come on, hold on, jump, hold on. Wait, no! I gotta lock in. Come on, come on. Oh! I locked in, I locked in. I almost died. I was right there at death. What in the Lord's name? What was that thing? Together, I need to get a grip and go home. <gasps> Block, what are you doing here? Oh, hell no. I thought you'd be in the granary or out and about. Goodness, I don't feel so good. Nah, bro, it's a silly hour. He's silly. What is it, Flock? I don't like the way he's staring at me. Oh, Elise, it's the silly hour. Rose and Marine. What are you doing here? Flock. I was out on a walk. Uh, but this late at night? What is it, Fluck? Come, let's go home, Rosemary. I don't want to stay here a minute longer. Oh, but I... Ah, Elise, wait. morning already suppose I really did go to the woodland didn't I mm. I don't know what to think of all that but both Rosemary and the old hag neither were lying it seems I ought to pull myself together it's best to head out to work for now I'll leave my wits if I keep Rosemary and Flock mm. What are they doing out there? What was that? <laughs> you two are always making merry, huh? Good morning, Elise. Uh, good morning, Elise. Good <laughs> morning to you too, Flock. <laughs> I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. You know, I... Say, Rosemary, you put a flock away in the granary last night, right? <laughs> Of course, I think he's taking a liking to it, too. I always leave the door a little ajar, just in case. I see. Is that so? Elise. Is everything all right, Elise? You seem to be on edge last night, too. Uh... It's nothing, Rosemary. I just had a strange dream, is all. I know you went to the woods, Elise. I'm sorry, I... You don't have to tell me about it, but... You know now, don't you, that I'm speaking the truth? Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. 
You're taking me to town? We have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now, let's head to town. Wait for me. Where are you fucking demon? I was wondering, and please don't get angry with me. Out with the rosemarine. Looking around, I found an old blanket for Fluck. What? The one you had tucked away in the pantry. That's fine. I was going to use it as a dust rag anyhow. Thought I'd be mad about that. You live here now. You're so fond of the goat too. There's no, there's not, any, there's not much I can do about it even if I wanted to. So big of a deal. Save. Save. I'm killing myself. I'm scared. I don't want to play anymore. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoy, like, subscribe, leave a comment, I read them all, tap into the next one. Your boy. Wow. Oh. Your boy tired on its reading. I just want to tap out for a bit, man. See y'all next time.